similarity. Look at these figures. Are they exactly the same? No, their shapes are the same. Then in what way do they differ? Yes, they differ in sizes, though the shapes are exactly the same. You know such figures which have same shape but different sizes are called the similar figures. You have studied the elements of a triangle. Which of these elements will change the shape of the triangle? Yes, the angles will change the shape of the triangle. When we say two triangles have the same shape, that means the corresponding angles of these two triangles are of equal measure. In order to understand the concept of similarity, let's do one activity. Cut out a triangular figure from a piece of cardboard. Hold it between a point source of light and a screen. Observe the shadow cast by the figure on the screen. The shadow will have the same shape but is larger in size. The shadow A dash, B dash, C dash is similar to the original triangular cutout A, B, C. Tests of similarity of triangles. Revision. We have studied the tests of similarity in Standard 9. With the help of some examples, we will revise these tests. Observe the pairs of triangles in the given figures and state the test and correspondence of similarity. In Figure 1, triangle ABC and triangle PQR are similar by AA test and the correspondence is ABC to PQR. In the second figure, the ratio XY to LM is equal to the ratio YZ to MN, which is 2 to 1. Therefore, triangle XYZ and triangle LMN are similar by SAS test. The correspondence is XYZ to LMN. In the third figure, the ratio RS upon WV is equal to ST upon VU is equal to RT upon WU which is equal to 2 upon 1. As all the three corresponding sides are in proportion, triangle RST is similar to triangle WVU in the correspondence RST to WVU. Once again, we will recall the tests of similarity of two triangles. The first test is AA test. It states that for a given one-to-one -one correspondence between the vertices of triangles, the two triangles are similar if two angles of a triangle are congruent to the two corresponding angles of the other triangle. The second test is SAS test. For a given one-to-one -one correspondence between the vertices of triangles, the two triangles are similar if two sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of the other triangle and the angles included by them are congruent. The third test is SSS test. For a given one-to-one -one correspondence between the vertices of triangles, the two triangles are similar if three sides of one triangle are proportional to the three corresponding sides of the other triangle. Properties of similar triangles Having revised the tests for similarity of triangles, 
we will learn the properties of similar triangles. In the previous class, we had studied the properties of congruency of triangles. Do you remember these properties? The first property is reflexivity, that is, every triangle is congruent to itself. The second one is symmetry. If one triangle is congruent to the other triangle, then the second triangle is congruent to the first triangle. And the third property, transitivity. If one triangle is congruent to the other triangle, and the second triangle is congruent to the third triangle, then the first triangle is congruent to the third triangle. All these three properties are applicable to the similar triangles. So let's now see the properties of similar triangles. Reflexivity is the first property. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABC. That is, every triangle is similar to itself. The second property is symmetry. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC, which means if one triangle is similar to the other triangle, then the second triangle is similar to the first triangle. And the third one is transitivity. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF and triangle DEF is similar to triangle PQR, then triangle PQR is similar to triangle ABC. In other words, if one triangle is similar to the other triangle and the second triangle is similar to the third triangle, then the third triangle is similar to the first triangle. Example 1. Here some triangles are shown. We have to find out whether they are similar or not with reason. Consider figure 1. There are two triangles, namely triangle MNK and triangle MTP. Since all the sides of these triangles are given, let's try to apply SSS test. The ratio Mn upon Mt is 6 upon 2, which is equal to 3. Similarly, we can easily see that the ratio of Nk to Tp and the ratio of Mk to Mp is also 3. All the three sides of triangle Mnk are in proportion with the corresponding sides of triangle Mtp. Therefore, by SSS test, Triangle MNK is similar to triangle MTP. In figure 2, we have to consider triangle PRT and triangle PYS. Here, two sides of the triangle and angle included by these two sides are given. So first, find the ratio of these sides. In triangle PRT, and triangle PYS, PR is equal to A, PY is equal to PR plus RY, that is A plus 2A, which is equal to 3A. Therefore, PR upon PY is equal to A upon 3A, which is 1 upon 3. Now, the ratio of RT to YS is 2B upon 3B, which is 2 upon 3. Thus, the ratio PR upon PY is not equal to ratio RT upon YS. Therefore, triangle PRT and triangle PYS are not similar triangles. Next, we go to figure number 3. Here, 
all the three angles of triangle DMN are given. Measures of angles D, M and N are 70 degrees, A and A respectively. First, we will calculate the value of A. We know that the sum of the measures of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, 70 plus A plus A is equal to 180 degrees. By solving, we get A is equal to 55 degrees. Now let's observe triangle AQR. In triangle AQR, measure angle Q is 55 degrees. Angle R is A. That means angle R is also 55. Since two angles of triangle DMN are congruent to two corresponding angles of triangle AQR, triangle DMN is similar to triangle AQR by AA test of similarity. Now, we will solve a word problem based on the similarity of triangles. Example 2 A vertical pole of length 6 meters casts a shadow 4 meters long on the ground. At the same time, a tar casts a shadow 28 meters long. Find the height of the tar. Here, first we will draw the figure depicting the given information. Do you remember that the technique of finding the dimension is called shadow reckoning. Let the height of the tar be x meter. Here, the triangle formed by the vertical pole and its shadow is similar to the triangle formed by the tar with its shadow. Therefore, their corresponding sides are in proportion. So, PQ upon TS is equal to QR upon SV. Substituting the values we get, 6 upon x is equal to 4 upon 28. So, x is equal to 28 into 6 upon 4 equal to 42. Therefore, the height of the tar is 42 meters. Example 3 the triangle ABC has sides of length 5, 6 and 7 units respectively, while triangle PQR has a perimeter of 360 units. When will triangle ABC be similar to triangle PQR? Find the sides of triangle PQR. Solution We know that if three sides of a triangle are in proportion with the corresponding sides of the other triangle, then the two triangles are similar. So here, if AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to CA upon RP, then triangle ABC will be similar to triangle PQR. The perimeter of triangle PQR is 360 units, which means PQ plus QR plus RP is equal to 360 units. By the property of equal ratios, we know that AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to CA upon RP is equal to AB plus BC plus CA upon PQ plus QR plus RP. Substituting the given values, we will get AB plus BC plus CA upon PQ plus QR plus RP is equal to 5 plus 6 plus 7 upon 360 is equal to 18 upon 360, which is equal to 5 upon PQ is equal to 18 upon 360. Therefore, PQ is equal to 360 into 5 upon 18, which is 100. 
Hence, PQ is equal to 100 units. In the same way, we can find the values of QR and RP. So, 6 upon QR is equal to 18 upon 360. Solving, we get QR is 120 units. Similarly, 7 upon RP is equal to 18 upon 360. After calculation, we get RP is 140 units. Therefore, the sides of triangle PQR are 100, 120, 140 respectively.